Hey guys, welcome back to the Pride of Villa. So, I wasn't actually expecting this today, but it looks like Aston Villa have, uh, you know, released their squad for the upcoming fixtures that are, you know, going to be in America. I believe will be against Newcastle, Brighton and Brentford. And, you know, I've got the, the list of players right here. So, we've got Marshall, Martinez and Olsen in goal. Uh, Carlos, Matty Cash, Chambers, Digne, Conza, Tara Mings. Raven and Paul Torres. Midfield, we've got Buendia, Coutinho, Leander Dendonka, uh, Bibo Kamara, Kellyman. I haven't said that on the channel before, but I'm actually a really big fan of Kellyman from what I've seen so far. So I think there's a lot of potential with him. Um, Douglas Louise, John McGinn, Philogene Bagdais, Aaron Ramsey, Morgan Sanderson, Tina Munns, and Caden Young, and obviously Fords, Cameron Archer, Leon Bailey, and Ollie Watkins. Um... There's a lot to look forward to there. Obviously, standout players, Yuri Tiedemans and Paul Torres. We finally get to see what they're like in these fixtures. Um, and there's a lot to look forward to. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Um, and uh, I like that we're doing it because it's one of them. It's one of them um, team bonding things, if you know what I mean. I do like that we're going away. Obviously, last season, pre-season, we went uh, to Australia. And, you know, it's, it's a good way for all the lads to get to know each other. And it does already look like uh, Yuri Tienemans and Paul Torres have, you know, settled in great at Avila right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking at the squad. I, as I said before, I'm really looking forward to seeing a bit more of Kellyman. Um, not to see Aaron Ramsey right there. Obviously, Jacob Ramsey can't be there because he's suffering from an injury still. So hopefully he will make a you know a quick recovery back for the Premier League. It's just sad that he's going to miss out on pre-season. Because you all know how that can impact, you know, a player season. Um, Diego Carlos, what we saw against Warsaw was really promising. I thought he was actually quite, a, you know, he played really well, to be fair. Um, and yeah, there's a few others. Obviously, Robin Olsen, what's going to happen there? Are we still going to sell him or not? It, I think it just comes down to what teams out there would, you know, potentially want to sign him. Because I know we, we have said in the past that so we are discussing about getting a new goalkeeper at Villa which in my opinion it, it is needed I think what we've seen of Robin Olsen there was one game and I believe it might have been Tottenham away obviously we beat him 2-0 away I think that that was probably his best best game in, 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 a, uh, in the Villa shirt um, other than the Man City game under Gerrard where we you know we didn't lose 3-2 but I thought he was outstanding in the first half um and also Philip Coutinho, obviously he's come back from injury. Uh, we saw him obviously come back, so hopefully he's okay to come back and um, you know get stuck in. I've said it in the recent video. I hope he does stay with us. I think that he's a player there, and if anyone's going to get the most out of him, it has to be Unai Emery. But if he is to go and join Gerard in the Saudi League, then it is what it is, isn't it? But I do believe we should be keeping him. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, obviously Leander Dendonga is someone else that we put up for sale. Is he going to stay with us? I believe he will stay at the end. Um, to be fair, I did see a few Leeds fans at the time, see, with, you know, when we'd been linked with Nonto, that they'd like, like a swap and obviously a bit of money towards it for a deal for obviously Wilfred Nonto, which I could I could get behind. I, I wouldn't put too much money behind it because I think, if you know what I'm trying to say, but... Yeah, all in all, it's a great squad to go out uh, to America with. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the fixtures. Obviously, going against Newcastle, they'll be our first game in the Premier League. We can suss them out a bit, see what they're about now. Obviously, they've added to their squad. And I do believe they'll be a bigger threat than it was last season. Yes, we did beat them 3-0 with Thrash and Villa Park. We absolutely thrashed them. But, you know, a lot of teams are just they're, they're building their squads up. And it's going to happen. It, it, it's going to be... The Premier League is competitive. But next season is going to be really bloody competitive. Let's just say that. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Up the Villa. The Pride Villa. We'll see you in the next video.